Suppose you're a product manager at an AI startup and you want to scope out the competition. So you compiled a list of products that you're interested in and you want to extract some information from each of their websites. So first let's create a URL column and describe it as the URL of the product's homepage. I hit infer config and that tells AI to figure out how to get this information. So it decides that it can get it from web scraping. That looks good to me. I hit start scraping and slowly the URLs are automatically going to come trickle in. Um, my friend Dina is going to come in here and add another column just to demonstrate the real-time collaboration feature. It looks like she is adding a tagline, uh, which is a short description of the product. While she's doing that, I'll grab the logo. The AI infers that this is going to be an image. Looks good. Um, and then... Okay, so now let's say I want to know how worried I should be about each of these companies based on how much funding and traction they have. I know I can grab that data from Crunchbase, so I'm going to add some more columns for that and I'll fast forward through it. All right, the funding and traction metrics have been collected. Lastly, I want AI to tell me how important each of these companies is. So I'm gonna add a final column called notability score. And this one is gonna require some prompting. So I'm gonna say a rating from one to 10 of how notable the product is based on how much funding and traction it has. AI is going to figure out that this is a number that can be derived from the funding and traction columns. I hit generate and it should output, there we go. Uh, AI has given a score from one to 10 of each of these products. Uh, that is only scratching the surface of what you can do with matrices. Because the schema of this whole database is described in natural language, the AI is able to understand the data much more deeply than it would in another spreadsheet product, which means that it can potentially generate entire interfaces off of the data. For example, this gallery view of all the products that we just scraped.